Welcome to the Using Lay Language in Health Communication series. This is Module 2, Measuring Readability of Written Materials. In this module, we will cover readability, which is an important component of creating materials that are understandable for a variety of health literacy levels. In particular, we will discuss what it is, how readability formulas work, factors that affect readability, recommended reading grade levels, and various ways to calculate the reading grade level of materials. What is readability? Readability is how easy or not something is to read. When developing patient education materials, it's important to consider how readable it is for your audience. Readability scores are a way to measure whether written information is likely to be understood by the intended reader and whether they can take action based on that information. They are usually numbers calculated by any one of several readability formulas and the score most often reflects the grade level of the printed material. In general, readability measures are based on factors such as the complexity of the printed materials by measuring the number of words in the sentence and the number of letters or syllables per word. Readability, plain language, and health literacy are all important and they're all related. However, each term means something different. Plain language is writing that people can understand the first time they read it, such as using familiar terms, chunking information, and writing in a conversational tone. When you get plain language right, readability naturally comes with it, but plain language won't improve health literacy if people don't know what to do with the information. Readability scores have limitations and are not intended as a magic key to readable writing. Formulas only measure readability in a general way, so when you're developing written materials, you shouldn't write to the formula. While documents containing short sentences score is more readable, good writing should be a mixture of shorter and longer sentences relative to each other and the ability of the reader. Additionally, a word may be longer and contain four syllables or more, but may be commonly understood and therefore better to use, such as operation or diarrhea. It's when shorter words will do the job as well or better than longer words that the longer should be avoided. Readability formulas also do not take formatting into consideration such as using a lot of white space and chunking of information, meaning the text is divided into short sections and paragraphs so that information is easily found in the form of lists or bullet points, a layout that helps users find what they need. Readability formulas assume that you are writing prose paragraphs. They count sentence length by going from period to period. If you use bulleted lists to chunk your material and lay out your text with white space, readability formulas will say you have long sentences. Yet usability studies have consistently shown the value of lists and white space as aids to locating and understanding information. There is a persistent gap between what level most Americans read at, and what reading level most health healthcare materials are. According to the report from the Institute of Medicine, Health Literacy, A Prescription to End Confusion, most adults read between the eighth and ninth grade reading level, yet most healthcare materials are written at the 10th grade level or higher. The NIH Clear Communication Initiative focuses on achieving two key objectives of health literacy, providing information in the form and with the content that is accessible to specific audiences based on cultural respect and incorporating plain language approaches and new technologies. 
One of their programs focuses on reaching audiences where they are and overcoming barriers to health literacy. You can read more about the program and find a guide for health communication using the links provided for this module. The American Medical Association, as well as the American Academy of Family Physicians, recommend that written healthcare materials be at a sixth grade reading level or below. The CDC recommends sixth to seventh grade reading level. This is often not easy to do. Healthcare materials often need to explain complex information, many times replacing words with those that are two or three syllables or less requires careful consideration so that the messages are fully conveyed yet use plain language and are easy to understand. Medical terminology also must be introduced in certain situations and must be defined the first time the term is used. To achieve a sixth grade reading, grade reading level or below, most of the words must be two syllables or less. There are several easy ways to determine the reading grade level of your materials. Microsoft Word has long featured the ability to view readability statistics so you know how simple or complex your writing is, which can help ensure your writing is readable enough for your intended audience. Depending on your version of Word, and with most of the versions starting in 2013, you can enable the feature before starting to write and then access it by running a spelling and grammar check. The Readability Statistics window will show you some basic statistics like word and character count, along with some averages like sentences per paragraph. In the Readability section, you'll see two scores, the Flesh Reading Ease and the Flesh Kincaid Grade Level. Both scores are based on formulas that account for average sentence length and average syllables per word. For step-by-step -step instructions, visit the links at the end of this module. There are also free calculators available online, such as the one from WordCalc, which will give you scores from common readability formulas, such as the Flesh Kincaid Reading Ease and the Flesh Kincaid Grade Level, along with the Gunning Fog, the Smog Index Score, and others. These are used by pasting in the text of the document. Another is from textcompare.org, which will return scores for the previously mentioned ones, as well as a few others. If you have a specific readability tool you'd like to use, you can simply Google the title of the formula or tool, and you should easily be able to find a free version. At readabilityformulas.com, there is a list of some of the top free readability calculators, along with more information about the formulas, writing tips, and help with readability. All of these websites are linked at the end of this module. Additionally, there is a helpful desktop app called the Hemingway app that can help make your writing clear. It highlights length complex sentences and common errors, along with displaying your reading grade level. A red highlight will indicate a sentence is dense and complicated, so you can edit the sentence until the red is gone. A purple highlight will indicate a word or phrase has a simpler alternative, and mousing over the word or phrase will give you hints for replacing. Phrases in green will alert you to passive voice, which makes text or documents less personal, less clear, and less direct. Please note that the desktop version of the Hemingway app costs approximately $20. The Hemingway editor is a free download for PCs and Mac. The free version has limited features and helps you write short and crisp sentences of course, we do not endorse or promote the use of this product. We just wanted to alert you to its availability 
if you do a great deal of writing and might find it useful. So some key points to remember from this module. Readability scores give you a quick snapshot of the reading grade level, but other factors that affect readability should be taken into consideration. There is a persistent gap between most Americans' reading grade level and the level of health information materials. There are many free methods of calculating reading grade level of health materials, and the Hemingway app is a tool available to help with organizing and improving your writing.